glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. We've been highlighting incredible people in our community, and we want to take a moment to introduce you to a Colorado-born artist making waves here in our state. I'm joined by Topher Strauss of Topher Strauss Fine Art. Topher, how are you today? Uh, I'm doing so good. I, uh, it's good to be back in Denver because I've just been traveling. I just got back from Telluride where I had a solo exhibit or an exhibition there, and then Winter Park and, and Vail. I get to go to all the amazing ski towns in our oh, state. I feel really bad for you. It sounds like a rough life. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well, first, I want you to go ahead and tell me about your art and what has inspired you. We have some pieces here today. We'll get into them, but tell me just more about your art and what you do. My art is inspired by by Colorado and by nature and and by what we see in nature and 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 sometimes what we don't notice in nature, the negative space. But adventure is a big part of my soul and it fuels me and and I choose to do iconic places that people can really have strong associations with and and can relate to yes, um, yes definitely and I think you know what's so nice about what you say here is working with the negative space which is so big and I think so many people <laughs> especially those who are living here in Colorado with us know how much we appreciate the nature of Colorado so having a piece like this in their home I think will really speak to them tell me about how you create your art because it is so unique and so different from a lot of the things we've seen. Well, thank you. It is really unique, and and you know my background is is like I worked for uh, for Apple and electronic arts, and I used to direct movies. So technology is very much ingrained in who I am as an artist, and it fuels my process. Okay. I create these based off of experience, okay. photography, and collage. Amazing. And I do it on the computer. Okay. And because I'm doing it on a, on a small screen, and these paintings are big, these are the limited edition sizes, the big uh, uh, originals are huge. And in order to understand the scale and the scope of it and make sure it all works, yeah. I immerse myself Your VR. in my <laughs> paintings. Yeah, I, I put cool. this on. Yes. Oh my goodness. And then all of a sudden I'm able to be in the garden of the gods and understand how the, the, the pinks and the blues and everything kind of works and I'll take it off and I'll go back to my computer and I'll make some adjustments and then boom, back in it. What? <laughs> that is so cool. How creative. What a different way to do that. That is so amazing. So you're just living in virtual reality but creating in real reality, which is so cool. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is fun. Amazing. Well, your art is also uh, connected to philanthropic work as well. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that world too. Well, you know, um, Mark Twain said the two most important moments in your life are, are when you're born mm -hmm. and when you find your purpose. Huh. I love that, yes. And for me, my purpose is giving back to my community. I'm a Colorado native, I love Colorado, and there's a lot of people here and a lot of amazing organizations that need some help. So my purpose is, is using what I love to do, my art, to help raise money for organizations like Conservation Colorado or Food Bank of the Rockies, or in my hometown of Golden, I, I raise money for, for Be Golden, which helps fight food insecurity. And through my art, mm -hmm. And, and various projects that I've done, I've been able to feed over 200 families for six months. Wow, and, and that's Amazing. that's what it's all about. That's yes. what gets me up in the morning and, and painting my bright colors and, <laughs> and everything that I do is, is, is it's important and we all need to find our purpose. Yes, I love that. That is such a great reason to get up and to do your art. Let's talk about the two paintings, the two pieces that you've brought here today. Uh, tell me a little bit about these two. Yeah, well, this is, this is in our home state in Colorado Springs. This is Garden of the gods yes. I just I love the rhythm of it and the sky and you can almost hear the music and the piano keys yeah. that inspired this piece yes. um, beautiful and then this is this is really cool yes this is Teton National Park in Jackson Hole Wyoming yes um, I love Jackson and what's really cool about this piece is starting in May of this year, I'm, I'm gonna represent Colorado with pride in Jackson Hole. Wow. The Department of the Interior reached out to me and starting in May for the next 20 years, Wow, 20 years. This painting is going to be up in the Jenny Lake Visitor Center, and uh, and it, it just is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Topher, congratulations. That is so incredible. What an amazing way to get the, the name out there about. And I know that you also have, um, if people want to see your work in person, you you said that you have a spot in Breckenridge on Main Street that they can see you as well, right? The Topher Strauss Gallery in Breckenridge. Absolutely. I'm in galleries 
all over. It yes. feels really good. I, I'm represented in Vail and Telluride and Winter Park. Yes. Um, I mean, Park City, Utah, yes. and it just, it's like, Incredible. I want to be a representative for Colorado and the art scene and the, just the, the creative nature that's inspired, yes. you know, here. Yes, so. amazing. Well, Topher, thank you so much. And guys, you can check out more of Topher's incredible art on his website. That's topherstrauss.com and subscribe to his newsletter. Topher launches two new paintings a month inspired by the amazing nature right here in Colorado. Purchase one for your home today.